For the graphing section here, there's not any examples to look at. I think most of this will be pretty obvious. What's the title? There you go. How many different categories are, are there? Count each pie here. That's how many categories there are. Part C says, suppose there are 500 parents surveyed. How many children read, how many parents read to their children every day? So you're going to have to set up a proportion here with the percents again. Okay. So there were 500 surveyed. And what percent read to their children every day? So that's what you'll put up here. And then over to the left is how many actually read to the parents. And so once you get your percent filled in, you can solve for R. It says how many more read to their children about once a week compared to never. So you'll do the same thing. Set up two proportions, same way. And then at the end, you'll subtract. So you'll subtract once a week minus never to get the how many more read to their children about once a week compared to never. What's the title? You can find that. What does the X axis tell us? There it is. What does the Y axis tell us? There it is. Which state has the highest per capita personal income? You'll look for the, well, tallest bar. What's the difference between the state with the highest and the state with the lowest? So you'll take the state with the highest, whichever that one is, and subtract off the state with the lowest. And you'll get that difference there in dollars. Find the lowest total circulation of the six magazines. Find the smallest bar, the highest, uh, what is the total circulation in 2005 for all six magazines shown? So you're going to take every total and add them up. And what is the difference in the total circulation between Parenting and Maxim magazine? So the difference you're going to subtract again. And this last one. Priscilla accumulated $440,000 in savings and wants to invest. How much should, well, okay, so the, um, her financial advisor says she should invest a percent to each of these different investments here in the graph, in the pie chart. And it says, how much should she invest in real estate? So here's real estate, that's 50%. Use a proportion, is over of equals percent over 100, and find out how much she should invest. How much should she invest in annuities? Same thing, except for you're gonna use the annuity percentage. How much money should Priscilla invest in stocks and in bonds? So you'll find, same as with A and B for stocks, with bonds, and then add them together because it's and. And how much more should she invest in mutual funds than in annuities? So you've already found annuities up in part B. You still need to find mutual funds. So same deal, set up your proportion. And then it says how much more. So what operation would that be? That's it.